The Loony Box! <laughs> Welcome to the Looney Box, and I am so excited to finally be back making new videos on this channel after about a three or four year hiatus. I have had a lot of other things going on in life. I've been meaning to get back to this channel and make new videos for you guys, but as you know, things happen in life. You get busy with other things. And before you know it, a bunch of time's gone by and you haven't made new videos. It has definitely been on my mind as I have a ton of different items to review, to show you guys anything that is zany, anything that is loony, anything that's kind of out of the ordinary. I like to review it, I like to collect it, and I like to put it out there for you guys to see. So I have a ton, and I, when I say a ton, I do mean I have a ton of new content to put up on this channel. So we will be covering all kinds of things from trading cards to uh, movies to collectible items to Funko Pop type things to video game systems. You name it, it may be something that I collect and we may do a video on this year. So with the first video back I couldn't think of a uh, better item to cover than these very off-the-wall and very weird trading cards okay now these trading cards are very very similar to garbage pelt kids and as you know garbage pelt kids were a big uh, trading card sensation in the 80s. It's something that I've been collecting for years and years. I have almost the first original 15 series of cards complete as well as unopened boxes. But these cards are based on Garbage Pelt Kids and they are, uh, if you think Garbage Pelt Kids are weird, these are even weirder. These are called Chronic Patch Kids. Yes, you did read that correctly. Chronic Patch Kids. Now, I found these by accident as I was looking at some listings a few months back on eBay. It wasn't something I had ever heard of or seen anywhere outside the scope of eBay. And so as soon as I saw them, I said, well, I need to do some more research on these cards and figure out what exactly they are because I didn't know who made them. I didn't know where they came from, and I frankly didn't know anything about them. But I like to collect Garbage Pell Kids, and I also like to collect offshoot cards of Garbage Pell Kids, be it fan-made sets, um, parody sets of cards that are making fun of Garbage Pell Kids, which were originally making fun of something else. It's uh, Garbage Pell Kids is has morphed into this uh, pop culture icon over the years to the point that there's now many multiple sets of cards out there that actually poke fun of Garbage Pail Kids. So that's exactly what these do in the vein of characters that are very similar to Garbage Pail Kids. As you can see, this character on the package of the Chronic Patch Kids is basically is an impersonation of Adam Bomb, but he's with a bong. And so the cards within this set are basically uh, Garbage Pill Kid knockoffs, but in some form or fashion they have marijuana or weed as kind of the base source of the parody, okay? There's not a lot of information out there about these. There is um, there is one basic website where you can look them up. It doesn't tell a whole lot about them other than just giving you information on potentially ordering the cards. Okay. The neat thing about these cards is the set of cards to collect is very easy to do because every single package within the cards contains a complete set of Series 1. 
Now I've reached out to the creator of these cards, told him that I was going to do a review of these cards, and I also asked him if he had plans to do any more of these. He said he is currently working on art for a series two of the cards, and I think he had also said he had printed up 10,000 of these cards and he had sold about half of them. So he's been pretty successful with these cards so far. I imagine these cards would do very well in a smoke shop in particular. So they came in two different size boxes. One would be this big giant box here. And this thing, I believe, holds 100 packages, 100 packs of the cards. And remember, each pack of cards has a complete Series 1 set. Okay? And then you also have these smaller boxes, like so, that also contained what I believe to be 24 or 25 packs of cards. I do like the boxes and I do like the coloring. However, the only thing that I don't like about these particular boxes is they're very flimsy for the weight of cards within them. They don't hold up very well like the original Garbage Pill Kid boxes. This one, the big one in particular, if I don't hold the bottom together, it comes apart and the bottom flaps come out and the packages spill everywhere. Also, a few of the uh, corners and things, due to the weight, ripped on the way here shipping to me. So, I would hope that if Series 2 does happen, that the creator will do a better job on the boxes. But what I'd like to also do today is open a package of these and show you guys what the cards look like in case you are interested in ordering some of these cards. So let's go ahead and open a package now. All right, and as you can see, I'm going to go through and show you pretty much every card here. This would be your first card, Festival Fran. Paranoid Floyd. Now keep in mind, all of these cards are die-cut cards. They are, in fact, stickers, and they do have the die-cut uh, sticker cut out on them. Hell Blazer. Hookah Muksha. Medical Merlin. Overgrow Mo. And finally, we have Sharon Stoned. Okay, so there's your set of cards that comes in each pack. So you have a total of seven cards for Series 1. I do think that the front of these cards is very nice. It's a, uh, it's a heavy stock. It has a glossy finish. And as I said, they are die cut. It, the art reminds me of trash can tots. If anybody remembers trash can tots, that was a very similar style of art. It's not as refined or finished as actual Garbage Pell Kid cards. It's uh, uh, kind, of, kind of more crude, rudimentary uh, Garbage Pell Kid art. Still very good looking, but not quite as refined as the actual Garbage Pell Kids. So the stock is nice. The actual uh, die cut is nice. The art is fine. One thing I do not like about these cards is the backs of them are completely blank. If you, if you check out the back, they're all blank. And I think that's an absolutely wasted opportunity on the part of the creator and manufacturer of these cards. There are so many things that you could have done on the backs of these cards 
that would have really helped these cards to shine a little more. The other thing uh, that I'm not a big fan of is you have a very small series of seven cards, which you get a complete series in one pack. There's no A and B cards. And one thing I would have liked to have seen with these cards is a B variant of each of these. Even if you only had the seven characters, with the B variant you would have a total of 14 cards. You could still do half your packs with the A variant and then half your packs with the B variant. And then it would give people more incentive to buy more packs. If you had, if they had to buy two packs to complete uh, a set, then you're, you're obviously going to sell more packs. And if the, if the sets are still random inside the packs without being labeled, then the chances are that it's going to take them more than two packs. It could take even three or four packs to get the A and the B variant and therefore you would sell more of the cards. So I do think there are some wasted opportunities and some things that could definitely be done better on this set. But I think the art is very clever. I think the names are clever. And it's just that fun nostalgia of collecting cards similar to Garbage Pail Kids. I just, it's just a lot of fun. It's something I've done since I was a kid in the 80s, I find collecting cards like this just to be really cool. And I definitely, I have a couple open sets of these already. And it's definitely something I've added to my personal collection. So if you would like to order these cards, I have quite a few extra packs that I ordered um, that will be available on eBay. Just look up. Uh, chronic, pa chronic Patch Kids on eBay, or you can look at the link in this video to the listing. I'm not sure if the creator of these cards has any more packs available, but he does not typically sell them by the pack. They're sold by the box, and so in order for you to just get a single pack, you would have to buy a box of 24 or a box of 100. If you like the content that you saw today and you would like to see more content like the Chronic, the chronic Patch Kids, leave me a like and please uh, subscribe to my channel. That will help to bring the numbers up. I have a ton more videos coming down the pipeline covering all kinds of cool collectible stuff. And as always, I say, keep life fun and keep life loony. See you next time.